Previously, we have talked about how spammers can use spam farming to increase the page rank score of a target page. Now let's see how we can actually combat such web spams. And the method we'll introduce is called trust rank. And basically it's equivalent to just running a topic specific page rank with a teleport set of only trusted pages. For example, we can use all the .edu domains for universities and schools as the teleport set of trusted pages. And the basic principle behind this is the approximate isolation. And it says that it's rare for a good page to point to a bad or spam page. And the first step of trust rank is to sample a set of seed pages from the web. And we can have a Oracle or human to identify the good pages in the seed set. And you may have noticed that this is actually a very expensive task and let's say that suppose we want to pick a seed set of K pages. How do we do that? We cannot, it's impossible to, to manually label all the web pages on the web, right? So can we, how can we do this in a cost efficient way? One approach is to use page rank. Now we can pick the top K pages by page rank. And the theory is that you can't actually get a bad pages page, page rank really high. And the second approach is that, as we mentioned before, we can use the trusted domains whose membership are actually controlled, like the .edu domains or .gov domain. And let's say that we have already uh, picked the seed set of pages and we have identified the good and trusted pages. Now, the second step would be to perform a topic specific page rank with the teleport set T as the trusted pages. So basically, we will first initialize the trust of each trusted page to one over the size of T. Again, T is the set of, of trusted pages. And for, for any other page that are not trusted, then we set the, set the trust to zero. So this is our initialization of the page rank. And then we can basically run the page rank, page rank algorithm. Remember that this new stochastic matrix has two terms. The first term is, is the is beta times M, which is where M is the original stochastic matrix. And the second term was, uh, is one minus beta over the size of T. So these is the teleport term. So basically what we're doing in these two lines is just to propagate the trust through the links. Right, and each page, each page will get a trust value between zero and one. And after we do this, right, each page will get some trust value. So how do we determine whether a page is a spam or not? As a final step, we can just use one threshold value and we can mark all the pages below the trust value as a spam. Now, Remember that in this trust rank model, we actually start with the good pages and we propagate the trust. But one problem with this is that there might be some new pages and new pages usually have relatively low page rank score, but they're actually good pages. And if we directly use this original trust rank model, you're gonna, you're gonna basically uh, mark all these new pages as spam, which is not good. And the second problem is that it's actually difficult to, to determine the right threshold because the final trust score depends on the total size of the web, right? So in order to address this problem, a complementary review is to look at what fraction of a page's page rank score comes from the spam pages. And if this fraction is actually very, very small, then we can say that it's a, it's a good page and otherwise it's a spam page. And what's nice about this, about this idea is that it's actually, it also works for new pages because it's looking at the fraction, not the total, not the total trust value. But in practice, we actually don't know all the spam pages. So we might need to estimate it. So how do we do this? In order to do this, we need to first compute the standard or the original page rank score of, of a page P. So 
again, this is just the sum of two terms. The first term, beta times m, is the original is the original stochastic matrix, and the second term, one minus beta over the size of n, is the teleport term. And n is the number of web pages on the whole web. And initialization will be just will be just uh, initializing all the pages as one over n. And this is the this is the first sub step of our final step. And following this, we will, we will, we will then compute the page rank of this page P teleported from the trusted page only. So basically this is this is the you can think of it as the copy specific page rank uh, where the teleport set is the is a set of trusted pages. And again, this is the sum of two terms. The first term is the same. The second term is one one minus beta over the size of p. p is the set of trusted pages. And different from different from the original case rank, we will initialize the trusted pages as one over t and all the others as zero. And then we can calculate what fraction of a page's page rank score actually comes from the span page. And we can this is just simply the difference between RP, which is here, and RP plus, which is here. So this is the fraction of the web pages that comes from the span page. And then we can compute the span mass, which is actually just the ratio of RP, RP minus to RP. And we can say that pages with very high span mass are span, and those with relatively low span mass are good pages.